All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share for more. Today we got a, an, an unboxing again from uh, uh, Wrist Ball. Uh, Misha in, in Israel was kind enough to send me his latest set. Um, we got Paul Talbot here, special guest, helping us yeah. to <laughs> go ahead and break this down. He's going to go ahead and open the things. Um, this is a four handle set. Um, so there's several, there are several different handles that come with this. I forget the set name. I'm going to look it up and I'll put it in the description. Um, so the big thing that, that, that I was interested in with this set that Misha said is his, um, his competitive handle to the Mazarenko eccentric. This is my favorite Mazarenko handle. Um, and this is, um, this is the version that he has to compete with it. This is the standard Mazarenko size. Um, I, don't, I didn't get the large size. Um, the only, I love the handle, the only, the only issue I had with it is if you can see here, um, early on using it, the 3D print, I actually crushed it. Um, so I can still use it and I still do. So as far as this one goes, this is a larger handle size. So if you can see the diameter is, is, is definitely larger. The weight is, 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 it's definitely more dense of a handle. Have not used it yet, so I don't know how the thickness of this handle is going to compare as far as my size and uh, the size of my hand. Paul, have you ever used these? No, I, like actually, that? I actually haven't, but this one, the quality does seem a little thicker and denser than, than that there. But no. yeah, the, this is, it's, the size is, is, is thick, so um, yeah, it'd be nice to get it on there and check it out. Right, right, that's what I mean. And I think that I don't know what the sweet spot is necessarily for my hand size and the size of this eccentric. But I'm interested to use it because that's, uh, you know, it's the eccentric handle that, that, uh, that Misha provided me last time has more of a flat finger feel to it. This is going to give you the opportunity to ridge a little bit more naturally. Okay. Here we have um, the, the offset cylindrical handle. Um, so this, putting the hole on the opposite side um, gives you that wrist wrench type feel. Difference here now is he's added the strap to it so that you can actually get your hand buckled down in more. Haven't used it yet, but my assumption is that this is going to allow uh, much more weight, less actual grabbing and squeezing of the handle and more just wrist flexion. It looks like it's a little bit thicker than the previous yeah, one I had. Yeah, yeah. Probably almost going to need that strap to hold on to this. So right. There. So this is another one here too. Uh, so the flat finger handle that I got prior from Misha, you can see that there's a much more of a curve here. It's it's almost bowed. It's almost half cylindrical. This one, if you can see here, is almost a direct angle for flat finger. So almost if you were rowing or if you're doing any type of pull-ups off of a block, I think this is giving you more of a feel like that. Very interested to try this. I think, honestly, I know what your thoughts are on the difference of this, but with this one, oh, yeah. my hand is bowed and it's almost open. Right, yeah. But with that one, you can it's really shelf, drive up right. and shelf. Yeah. Oh, fingers here. Right. Yeah, I mean they both feel they both feel pretty tough to hold on to, but right. I think they both have very similar purposes, but I feel I don't know. I could be wrong, and I haven't tried it yet. But I really feel like that's going to be the one that I lean more towards, just for functionality. Okay. And last but not least. Uh, we have Misha's version of, I guess you would call this a wrist wrench, but you have the hand strap on the back. So it's almost a cross between a multi-spinner and a wrist wrench. So you could obviously take this off and use this like a true wrist wrench. The knurling on this is really good, so it's going to allow you to really be able to squeeze and hang on to it. Uh, it looks like it's a, what do you think, that's a two inch diameter? Two and a half. Yeah. So it's a little bit thicker than my normal wrist wrench. And, uh, but what's nice about it is I think being able to put that on there 
it's really gonna lock your hand in and it's gonna give you less finger pressure and more wrist flexion. So it's, it's the, what I see quality wise is, is very thick and dense, obviously like everything that Misha does. Uh, but this gives you an opportunity to use it like a true wrist wrench where you're using your fingers for clamping or to go ahead and switch up and just work on wrist flexion as a whole. I don't, what do you prefer as far as wrist wrench and like, you know? I, I just got uh, conventional wrist wrench with, uh, with sandpaper I got from Lucas, right? And, right. Uh, got it offline or whatever and it, it's got good grip, but I mean, it, it's all in what you want. Do you want to work your hand? Do you want to work right. your fingers? Do you, I mean, but the option is great to be able to have both. Right. You know what I mean? So um, I kind of prefer not using the band, but I mean, I'm, I'm all about hand strength opposed to just wrist and arm strength so right. for me for me it's no band but i mean i can definitely see you right the band right this is my go-to too i mean to me this is like my most important the wrist wrench is like the most important thing and i think it's one of the most important things for beginner arm wrestlers also and i like the versatility of it um it the, the diameter could be you could, you could go to bigger or a smaller one but that, the, that's a decent size right there yeah actually. Having the options nice because like for me the way I would train a wrist wrench is I usually pyramid my way up So I could see myself pyramiding my way up to like a one rep where I'm not using the strap And then going for a couple more pounds here and there with the strap and that being the only time that I really use it is for max effort So anyway, we'll give it a go uh, Maybe make a little demo video here and there throughout our workout um, Thanks again if you're if you're tuning in for the first time make sure you hit subscribe